So we have just finished our draw along um, for Art for Kids Hub. And now you may have a boy or a girl lion, but either way, you have a floating lion. It's just kind of floating in the air. And we don't want that. So we are going to put it so it's touching the ground. I'm going to put in a background. A background is the area around and behind your object. And this is our object, or I should say our subject. Our subject is a line, okay? So I'm going to put in a ground line. I don't want it to be just below. I want it to be a smidge behind the line because we need to get those back feet touching the ground because it would look funny if it's front feet were touching the ground and the back weren't. So I'm going to do a zigzag line, and you guys can do this at your seats along with me. All the way across. Now please remember, you are using a black, a black drawing crayon. And those black drawing crayons do not go in your crayon bins if they are sitting on your table. You should still have your black drawing crayon at your seat. All right, so now my little lioness is on the grass. Now, you don't necessarily have to have it on the grass. Maybe she's sitting on a rock. You wanna do that? You want her standing on a rock? How about I show you the rock and if you wanna do it, you can. If you don't, you don't have to, all right? So maybe she is standing on a rock like this. And in front, I would have my zigzags for my grass. And maybe around my little lioness, I have some flowers. So flowers are pretty easy. Let me zoom in for this for you guys. I'm gonna do a dot and a teardrop shape, and I'm gonna repeat that a couple times. Three, four, five, six, okay? I could also have some flowers sticking out of the ground. I'm gonna show you how to do a super easy tulip. Ready? So it is a capital letter U with a zigzag line, a stem, and a leaf. So I could do flowers back here. I could do a tree back here if I wanted. Um, I think I'm gonna do a couple tulips back here. A letter U with a zigzag line. Okay, and I'm gonna put some flowers down in my grass just so that my grass isn't all green and I can break it up a little bit. Okay. Now, in our background, you have a couple different things you could do. You could do um, a rainbow. You could do a sunshine. You could do clouds. You could do a butterfly buzzing. Let's, you want me to show you how to do a butterfly? Yes, ma'am. All right. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, our Kindergarten sudden, we know how to do that. It is a circle with triangles coming out of it so that we have something to color in because if we do just this, the lines, then we don't have anything to color in. And I'm gonna show you how to do an easy butterfly. So all it is is a circle and a long skinny 
tube. Kind of looks like a spoon right now. And a big wing on each side. And a smaller wing on each side. And then sometimes I like to do a little dotted line so it looks like it's flying. You could have kites flying in the background. You could have birds flying in the background. You could have clouds, maybe. Okay. You could have a bee if you wanted to. So if I just covered up that part of the butterfly and gave it more of a belly and colored it yellow with black stripes, you'd have a bee, okay? I could put more clouds in the sky. I could do a bunch of different stuff back here, but once you are done, you are going to color your background. You're going to color all of it. That means that your sky, I don't know if I, that's kind of a purple blue. I don't want that one. Your sky is going to go from all the way up here, behind, all the way down to the grass line. This is all going to get colored in, okay? All right, when we are done with our black drawing crayons, you may return them in a moment, in a moment, to the clay table, and then I'm going to have helpers pass out the crayons for us to color.